Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here, AKA Brixie. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at all the amazing Lego sets that have come out in 2020 because boy, has it ever been a doozy of a year. The Lego group is just pumping out different amazing sets each and every single month. And we're gonna have a look at all of them today starting in January. Of course, January 1st is the first day of the year and that's when they come out with a different modular building every year. This year it was a bookstore or a bookshop. So it's actually uh, two different buildings. One is a condo, it sits on a 16 by 32 base plate and also the other one is a birch books or the birch bookstore and it has a nice birch tree in the front which is pretty cool it's not a bad modular building i definitely do like it we also have the old trap board stadium which came out which is of course where the uh the manchester united football club plays and it's pretty great although i probably won't be getting it if you're a fan of minecraft january was also pretty cool for you as well because there's a bunch of different minecraft sets that came out and also speed champion sets now these speed champion sets were a little bit different than the ones that came out previously they're all eight studs wide rather than six studs wide and there's some really cool ones in there such as the nissan gtr jaguar two pack lamborghini two pack and also an audi as well which is pretty neat if you ask me now they also came out with trolls world tour lego sets eh, nothing too crazy and also two different architecture sets uh, which is Tokyo and also Dubai. If you're a fan of battle packs, January was the month because they came out with two different Lego Star Wars battle packs. There was the Sith Trooper battle pack from the Rise of Skywalker and also the Mandalorian battle pack, which is pretty cool. And if you're a fan of minifigures, I think the DC minifigures and also the uh, collectible minifigure series number 20 came out in January as well. Moving into February, there was an ISS or the International Space Station that came out. It was a Lego idea set that had a whole bunch of solar panels in it. Just finished building that one here and it was absolutely fantastic. I really thoroughly enjoyed that set. And if you're a Disney and a Brickhead fan, well, February was good for you as well because they did Donald Duck and they also did Goofy and Pluto, which is a two pack. Moving into March, they kicked it off with Fiat 500, which is a Lego Creator Expert set, which is fantastic. And I love Lego Creator Expert vehicles. And the Fiat 500 was a cute little one for sure. And if you like cars, then also March was good for you as well because they did Dom's Dodge Charger, which of course was from Fast and the Furious. However, this one was not Lego Creator Expert. It was actually a Technic set. Moving into April, April is very exciting. Let's talk about the biggest April release. I think it was Pirates of Barracuda Bay, which is just one of the most epic sets ever. It's, it's simply amazing. I cannot wait to build mine with you guys live here on my YouTube channel. Also in April, we got uh, a few different uh, Lego Star Wars sets. We got the helmets, which are simply incredible. They display so beautifully on any cell, uh, any shelf. And if even if you're just a fan of Star Wars, you should probably get those. It's uh, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, and also the TIE Fighter Pilot. And if you're a fan of the new droid from the Rise of Skywalker, then Dio is the set for you as well because that one was pretty awesome. Now, one thing that uh, 2020 is not known for is movies because all the release dates have been pushed forward. However, we still got our Wonder Woman set for the new uh, Wonder Woman movie that's going to be coming out sometime in the near future. Moving into May, there was a Star Wars release that was pretty cool. It was the A-Wing. It's actually an Ultimate Collector Series set, which is pretty cool. And something that's comparable to Ninjago. There's a whole new set lineup that came out known as Monkey Kid. That has some pretty awesome things in it, such as the mech, which I really am eyeing up and might pick up myself. One of the hardest sets to get uh, was actually issued in the month of May as well. It was a... Uh, fairground ride it's actually a drop ride but it's also a haunted house and that is the haunted house drop ride oh my gosh i can't wait to build that and put it into the amusement park which will be bigger and better as we rebuild brickminton in the new basement there's a bunch of new technic sets that came out this year as well in addition to dom's charger we have the ducati which i haven't seen on the shelves yet and also the lamborghini cn which is one of the most expensive, largest Lego Technic sets that have been released. And it's very similar to the Bugatti that came out a number of years ago and the Porsche that came out just before the Bugatti. And I have to build mine yet and I cannot wait to build it. There was also some new city stuff that came out in the month of June, such as deep sea sets. There's a large deep sea vessel and some airport stuff too, because there's just more airplanes coming out. 
I'll definitely be getting the deep sea vessel, but I'm not sure about having an airport in the city. I have to see if there's enough space. Architecture sets, there's actually one more that came out in the month of June as well. It is the White House, and we saw one pirate ship earlier, which was the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. There's also another one that came out in the Creator 3-in-1 lineup in the month of June as well. Also, a bunch of uh, Jurassic World sets that came out in the month of June and some hidden side stuff in particular. We're taking a look at the Mystery Castle one. Now, I'm not showing you guys all of the regular releases for 2020. We'd be sitting here for... Oh, a century having a look at all of them. I'm just showing you ones that I think are really cool and awesome. Moving into July, there's quite a few different ones as well. One that I really like is Mickey and Minnie. Those are the buildable characters. I think they look absolutely fantastic and wow, are they ever awesome. However, I think I picked mine up in August. Yeah, that didn't come out in July. I think that came out in August, at least here in Canada. In addition to uh, the July releases, there was the brick sketches. I think they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. I know there's licensing costs and stuff like that, but I think they retail for $26.99, and I think that's just a little bit expensive. Also in July, it was sort of an Avenger, Avengers month. They did uh, Avengers Helicarrier, a miniature version, not like the larger version that came out prior to it. And they also did a Iron Man helmet similar to the helmets that we saw earlier in this video, the Star Wars ones, and also a new Avengers Tower with an updated A symbol and some updated parts and color schemes. Which And it looks like we're going to start getting some more advanced trains in the month of July. They released an 18 plus train, which is known as the Crocodile. And maybe this is where we're going to start getting some better higher end looking trains that are issued from the Lego group. And I cannot wait to see more in that department. Now we're currently in August and August was a huge month. There's so much stuff that came out in the month of August and that is absolutely crazy. First off, the Grand Piano. Wow. This thing looks amazing. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. It's not high up on my wanted list. Also in the month of August, there's something else that hit the shelves. It has to do with art, and it was actually Marvel Studios Iron Man art. You can build uh, four different varieties depending on how many sets you pick up, so that was pretty interesting, and it's a new lineup, and there's three other sets in that uh, art theme, all of which are coming out here this year, either in August or September. Um, and I'm, in particular, I'm going to be taking a look at the Iron Man one and also the Sith one, of course. Also, in the month of August, there's a huge new lineup of Nintendo products. In particular, it's Mario, of course. It's a me, a Mario. There's a whole bunch of different ones, and it's an absolute crazy lineup. I couldn't imagine picking all of them up and making an absolute giant scene. It would be something to trifle with. It would be a project, but it would look really, really interesting. That is for sure. In addition to all the Mario sets, that, the play sets that came out, there's also the Nintendo Entertainment System that came out as well. And that, to me, is the a full version of the Mario stuff, whereas the other stuff is more like play sets and whatnot for children. Although the interactive characters that you do get in there in the little digital Mario minifigure is incredible. The electronics on it is, is amazing. Simply amazing. It blows me away every time. And we're actually still in the month of August because there's even more releases. Now, two of the other major releases on top of the Mario is Star Wars. There was a bunch of stuff that came up for Star Wars, such as the new 501st Battle Pack, of course, and a new AT-AT Walker, along with a bunch of other ones as well. But those are the ones that really stand out to me. And in addition to that, there was two new Brickheads that came out in a multi-pack, which is, of course is Mandalorian and The Child. There's also a few Technic sets, one that was got cancelled, the Osprey, and also uh, there is like a, a concrete mixing truck and also a new Volvo, I believe, as well. Um, also, in, in August, they're doing a Besman Duel, which is like looking really pretty cool. I thought it was exclusive to Toys R Us, but it looks like they're going to be selling those at uh, the, the Lego website as well, or in stores as well, it looks like, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I guess I'll, I'll check the shelves and see if they're there, and if they're there, I'll probably grab one. In addition to Star Wars, there's a bunch of Harry Potter sets that came out here in August as well, such as the Buildable Hedwig, and also the Burrow, and a bunch of others, but one that I'm really looking forward to is actually coming out on September 1st, and this was released quite recently in a leak, and it was actually... Uh, or it's actually Diagon Alley. I cannot wait to get a new Diagon Alley. I want to make a little hidden crevice in my city with a Diagon Alley. I think that would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, in addition to other sets that are coming out in September, which is just around the corner here, there's going to be uh, the new Razor Crest and a few others. So, so many great LEGO sets came out here in 2020, and we're only eight or nine months through the year here. So, 
wow, I cannot believe how good of a job that Lego is doing issuing all of these amazing Lego sets for us to buy. And it's just like, take my money. It's ridiculous how many awesome Lego sets they're issuing. What's your favorite from the bunch? Let me know by commenting below. If you guys like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much, it's highly appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my LEGO sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, stay tuned, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.